I was getting real upset, and my husband told me, he said, you go on and file, go to the police department. And so I went to the sheriff's department and filed that report. Well, we was actually at the sheriff's department that night, and her ex-husband's son called us and said that he thought he seen her car on the Bluegrass Parkway. Dad, I remember him coming back outside the sheriff's department, and he looked at me, and he was like, let's ride down there and check and see if it's hers. I remember coming around the curve right there by that 14-mile marker and seeing her car sitting there. And as soon as we come around the curve, we knew it was hers. And we was nervous because we knew something was wrong for a car to be sitting there and her not be around it. I got a phone call. You need to come. You need to come. They found Crystal's car. You know, and I knew something, something terrible's happened. And I remember me and Dad were looking in the car. We both stood on the passenger side, looking through the front window. And I remember seeing her purse was in there, her phone was sitting in the console, and her keys were still in the car. It was just like she pulled up there and just disappeared, just got out of the car and just vanished. We're just trying to find her. Sherry Ballard fears the worst, as all day Monday, she spent searching for her 35-year-old daughter, Crystal Rogers. Ballard, along with dozens of volunteers, are combing the area off of the Bluegrass Parkway outside of Bardstown. On Sunday, that's where family members found her car and all of her belongings inside. With any missing persons investigation, you want to start from the very beginning, and for me, that would be going to where Crystal's car was found, which was the first sign of trouble. Tommy, your dad, and Casey are actually the ones that found her car. You can actually see the sign that's been placed here. OK, so show me exactly where her car was found. It's back here by the sign. Where the sign is, is where her car was at. Because we put the sign exactly dead center where her driver door and passenger door was. When I see a car pulled over, you immediately think it broke down or a flat yeah. tire. I mean, when we pulled up, you could see where the tire was low, and you could see black marks where they come over towards her car. How can you tell a tire is low? It leaves, like, actual black mark on the road on each side of that tire before it'll blow out. And when we come up to the car, the back passenger tire was low. But it wasn't flat enough where you couldn't drive. I mean, she could still drive. And that's the first thing my dad said. He's like, the tire ain't all the way on the rim. He said, she wouldn't have pulled over. She wouldn't have? She would not have pulled over. She's drove before. Actually, on this same road, had a flat, and she tore the rim up on the car because she wouldn't stop until she got somewhere safe. Because she was that because she cautious. Was that cautious. She was that paranoid. It's not like her to drive down here and just pull over on the side road with a tire that ain't all the way flat. Maybe she did pull over with a flat tire, and someone pulled up right in front of her, behind her, and just took her. Do you think that is a possibility? I personally don't. I don't think she was ever in the car. She didn't drive this car here. 